I want to start with Kaiser and Esmeri being named to the first team. I feel like both of them kind of took similar journeys this year, taking such a big step from last year to this year. Uh, what allowed both of them to do so? Well, I think they both worked extremely hard this summer, which really helped them be prepared for, you know, this opportunity. But they had good years. Uh, Esmeri averaged a double-double, which is hard to do in this league. And then you got uh, – Kaiser is one of the top scorers in the league, and, and, and they both did a terrific job. Joe Bricado. Mike, a bit of extra time than you normally would have in the city leading up to the conference tournament. How do you fill the extra time? Uh, how often can you get out and practice? What's your, what's your lead up over the next couple of days? Well, it's, it's very limited uh, what we can do right now. Um, you know, they, they, you only allowed so much time to practice. You, you really don't have a choice how much time you can practice. It's up to, you know, the, the procedures here. So it, 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 it's different than anything we've done all year. But, uh, you know, every team has to do it. And, uh, you know, we'll adjust and, and, and get ready for Friday. Back to Carly. Um. One of the few teams in the Big 12, knock on wood, that didn't have a COVID stoppage this year. Um, what do you think allowed that to happen? And how did these girls prioritize, you know, basketball over everything else? Yeah, you know, you got to give the credit to all our players and staff. Uh, you know, they did a great job. Uh, they were very disciplined. Uh, you know, they, they didn't go out to parties. They didn't go out to social events. And, and you got to give them a lot of credit because that's tough. That's tough for a college student not to do all that. That's why you go to college. Part, that's part of your education, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, they did a great job. They did a great job and was very disciplined. Joe, go ahead. Mike, have you been able to practice since Monday night's game? And how has Kaiser been since then? Uh, no, we got practice today. We'll practice today. We gave them off yesterday. Uh, Kaiser still has a lot of soreness in her ankle. Um, you know, she's not full go yet. So we'll see where she's at come uh, Friday. But as of right now, she's not full go. Mitchell, go ahead. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, just sort of reflecting back on, on these two Baylor games that you've had this season, um, there is a good chance, you know, maybe you see him again uh, upcoming in the tournament here. Um, what are you hoping to do different um, in these two games? Has there been a common theme that's kind of stopped you guys from, from getting over the hump against Baylor? Well, first of all, they have great players. You know, they, they have high school parade McDonald All-Americans on the roster, first of all. Second of all, you know, we're down – I think we were tied at our place at halftime. Uh, we were down six – at halftime at their place. I mean, we were in foul trouble both both games. And, you know, I think uh, going in the fourth quarter, it was an eight-point game. And that, that Esmeri was in foul trouble. Kari was in foul trouble. And then in the fourth quarter, Kaiser went down. So, I mean, we – you know, I, I feel very comfortable playing Baylor. I really do. But we got to stay out of foul trouble. We're just not deep in the post right now. we got to stay out of foul trouble. And if we don't stay out of foul trouble, their two posts – are really, really good. You know, Smith was player of the year in the conference, and, and rightfully so. She's that good. Joe, go ahead. Mike, obviously the, the big focus is next week in the NCAA tournament and getting as healthy and as full strength as you can for that. But how much do you think you can help your cause in seeding or potentially hurt your cause in seeding this week? I think we can definitely help it if we can advance in the tournament. Now, as far as hurting it, I, I, I don't know if it'll hurt it too much, but we definitely could help our cause. Uh, if, but you'd have to go to the championship game in order to help your cause. Is You're not going to help it with just one win or whatever. You're going to have to get in the championship game. Carly, go ahead. I know you mentioned a couple of weeks ago that Maddie would probably be available for the NCAA tournament. They said on the broadcast that maybe for the Big 12 championship game, if you guys made it there, uh, what's what's she looking like? <laughs> Who said that? Uh, one of the broadcasters, not me. Uh, I'm not <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I wish you were right, but that's that's not true. We're, 
we really don't know she'll be ready for the end. I'm, I, we're hoping. She's hoping. We're hoping. The trainers are hoping. Everybody's hoping she'll be ready for the NCAAs. But I've already told her if she's not 100%, we're not playing her. I, I'm not going to, you know, uh, take a chance on her, her playing in the future or take a chance getting her re-injured because it, it was a bad injury. And, you know, I told her she's probably going to hate me if I decide not to play her in the NCAA. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I'm not going to put somebody out there I think could get hurt. And so we'll just have to keep evaluating her and see where she's at. Mitchell, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, um, you, you mentioned uh, seeding, you know, in the NCAA tournament there. Um, you know, in most years, if you're a top four seed, you get the chance to host, and, and that's a that's a big deal. This year, with everything being kind of one site, does it matter all that much to you if you all move up to three or if you're dropped to a six or, you know, whatever the case is? Well, it does because it depends who you're playing. It's all about matchups. I'll be honest with you. Uh you know, in women's basketball and men, it's all about matchup. And women's basketball, it's all about you got to play on somebody's home floor. And this year, you don't have to do that. So that 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 makes it, you know, in my opinion, fair that everybody's going to play on a neutral floor. And uh, depends on the matchups you get. It may be a better seed being six, depending on the matchup, than it is to have a three seed. So you just don't know yet. Any more questions for Coach? Back to Mitchell. Go ahead. Oh, Mitchell, you're still muted. Good. <laughs> um, I just had you know, one, another question about one of your players. Um, you know, you got Jasmine Carson this season from Georgia Tech, and um, it looks like she's been playing kind of pretty consistent minutes for you here lately off the bench. Um, what she does sometimes, I guess, doesn't really show up in the stat sheet. What, what has she brought to the team kind of down the stretch? This well, she gives us another score. She can shoot the basketball. She can score. Uh you know, she has to continue to learn our system, continue to get better on the defensive end, continue to take care of the basketball. But they all do, not just her. But she gives us another legit shooter and another legit, uh, legit score. And I, I do want to mention uh, Kari and KK was honorable mention uh, also honors uh, in the Big 12. And they did a great job this year also. Carly, go ahead. So you play either Texas Tech or Kansas State, teams that, you know, played you pretty close in the regular season. I'm sure they're excited to get a third uh, crack at you. What challenges do both of them present? Well, uh, they both bring a different challenge. You know, I mean, uh, you know, they Kansas State, we just played recently. And then uh, we haven't – it's been a while since we played Texas Tech. So, you know, it really doesn't matter. I mean, in tournament time, you got to play who who's there. And uh, everybody's played everybody twice right now, so there's really no surprises uh, what the teams are going to do. You just got to come out and execute and hope you're hitting shots. Any final questions? Carly, one more. Don't cut me off, Tanner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I feel like depth has been, you know, a constant <laughs> conversation throughout the season, but in a Big 12 you know, tournament setting, how ready are your girls to play back to back to back when depth is already a problem? Yeah, but you know what? I've had other teams had to do that. Uh, you know, we just got to play. The biggest thing is getting in foul trouble, to be honest with you. If we can just stay out of foul trouble, we're okay. Uh, going into the NCAAs, if we'd get Maddie back, that makes us deeper at the guard position, which really helps. But you know, we just got to stay out of foul trouble and play and, 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 you know, everybody else. I mean, most of the teams are playing seven, eight people right now anyway, getting down to tournament time. So it's not like anybody's playing 10, 12 players at this time of the year.